it's been a while since the last time I came to the St. Patrick's Day Festival in Seoul. Maybe 2017 actually was the last time. So today we're going to go check it out and see some of the live music and traditional Irish dancing and maybe talk to some of the people who organize the event. I'm here with Kevin, who's the organizer of the St. Patrick's Day Festival up in Seoul. And uh, Kevin, could you give us a little bit of information on the event? Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, so we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day in Seoul. It's a very unique opportunity for us to, to gather the whole community together. It's a family-friendly event right now, but we actually have events running all weekend. And look, the whole idea is obviously to celebrate Ireland, but to introduce Ireland to the wider community, the local community, the Koreans, anyone who's interested. Um, and in true Irish style, it's just a bit of crack. How important has the music and the dance inside of that been to the event itself? It doesn't happen without them. You don't have people sitting down enjoying it. So we're just very fortunate that that talent is here and that the buy-in, they contribute significantly. We don't have huge budgets to pay artists, you know? So they're very modestly supportive, getting involved, easy to work with. It's key to making this event successful. We have many more events. Paddy's is obviously the highlight event of the year. But we have stuff on every week, every month and uh, we're growing, which is great, and uh, people are welcome to join. So uh, we're very, very open, and, uh, and I'd like to say fun. On Instagram and Facebook, the easiest, easiest way to get us, so Irish Association of Korea, find us there, contact us, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure you know what's going on. Around Christmas, our drummer left, he left Korea, so we picked up a drummer from another band, another Irishman, another band called Absolute Monsters, so we kind of collaborated to make kind of a celtic -y, punk rock -y band just for the data center. So they're more hard rock, we're more kind of heavy metal, kind of meet in the middle, do a bit of punk, have a bit of crack, get the music going, that's the main thing. I'm, I'm a big music person, so trap music, like heavy metal music, I'll, I'll listen to anything. Even from being a child, music was a, an integral part of Paddy's. Just got to get the music in all day as much as possible. I think any Irish person who has been abroad, it's sometimes a challenge. We get confused with the UK, we get confused with Ireland, Iceland. Irish people hold their identity very close to their hearts. The expression of that identity is our culture. It's our music, it's our literature, it's our heritage, it's our history, it's our art. And St. Patrick's Day is just a fantastic opportunity for us to showcase it, for us to celebrate it, first of all, as Irish people, but for us to introduce it to other people. And I know that in Korea, there's a whole cohort of fans of Irish culture and it's just it's just wonderful to have a crowd here today that's I don't know what would you say 70% Korean it's wonderful yeah. it's pretty cool fantastic thank you so much for your time we'll thank leave you. it at that and let you get back to enjoying the rest of the happy days happy St. Patrick's Day happy St. Patrick's Day everybody <laughs> fantastic <laughs>